What's up, guys? Welcome back. Hey, sorry I've been out of the game a little bit uh, the past few weeks. I've been uh, out of town doing some work. So uh, today we got a 1999 Honda Accord. Uh, I'm giving it to a little brother-in-law for his first car. He's about to get his license, so I uh, picked it up about two months ago. Pretty nice little car. Got like 100,000 miles on it. Uh, but the brakes are starting to squeak on it a little bit, and uh, so I'm going to replace these pads today and. Uh, We'll take it for a test drive when we're done, so let's get started. All right, first things first, we got it uh, jacked up in the front and the jack stand. I some clients the driveways a little bit on an angle. I got the emergency brake set. And we're just gonna use a three quarter impact. Get this wheel off real quick. Alright, next I'm going to go in the car and turn the wheel all the way to whatever side you're working on. So uh, there's some bolts we got to break loose and they're pretty tight back here behind the uh, brake caliper. So uh, that holds the caliper on. So we need better access to that. So I'm just going to crank the wheel all the way to the left. Get you guys a little better angle, show you where these bolts are. Alright, so here in South Georgia we have a big spider problem because we live by a lake, but the car's been sitting so you see the spider eggs. So be careful, you never know what's hiding in there. But we need to take this bolt off here, not this one with the rubber. There's like a rubber boots on them, there's two of them. Don't take those off. Take the ones behind it, and you'll see the ears to the caliper uh, that's mounting that to that spin, front spindle. So uh, we want this bolt out here, and then there's one down here, this one right here. We'll take that out. So let's break those loose. They're pretty tight, so you gotta put some man on it. Mia, yeah, actually break these loose first. Then I'll pull you guys in closer. They're, uh, those bolts are 17 millimeter. About that long. And there's the other one, same size. And we'll just pull this caliper up and flip it and set it on. You don't want to really hang the weight of the caliper on this rubber hose, so we'll just set it up here and it'll rest up there. Let me uh, get a little better angle here. One second. All right. So here's your brake pad. You can see these are running pretty thin. So uh, this pad comes out, this pad comes out, and there's some little metal plates on each end of here that need to come out, and they come with a new kit that you get. So um, just to show you what I like to do with brake pads, you just pop it outboard pad out first and 
and then while I'm in here, I just want to run collapse this piston here, and I can do that with the brake pad that's already in there. So I will put a C clamp on here. I have to move the camera a little bit. So you can just take a C clamp and collapse this piston here, and that's going to give you. Uh, the extra room you need for the thicker pads. If you don't do this, you'll never get the pads over the rotor. So, just clap this until it stops, and then we can pull that other pad out. Alright, stop right there. shaky all right and uh, we just push this pad out I'm so scared of spiders in here yeah. I'm a little girl when it comes to spiders We have a uh, Terminex just for this problem, but we've had them out twice. Clearly, it's not working. All right, this pad will come out just like this. All right, next. Let's try and get you a little better in here. It's kind of going to be hard to see. You got two little metal plates in here. And you can just stick a screwdriver in here and pop them out. And just keep an eye on how these go in. You can, the new ones are the same. So this thin bar here goes towards the how we're looking at it, the bottom. And there's like little channels. These will these here will fit around um, a piece of metal there, and these sit down in the big grooves. And these are where your brake pads slide. So. So ready to put the new stuff in. I'm gonna pause the camera and try to get some of this thick build up out. Kind of clean up in there. So I'll be right back. Alright. I didn't go crazy with it. It's an old car, so I just wanted to get some of that thick stuff off there. Alright, next, uh, your new kit comes with these to replace. So We'll go ahead and throw those in, just like they came out before. These can kind of be a little tricky. Shouldn't be though. Oh, 
Looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and do this bottom one to us. So fun fact about these cars, I'm if you got one, 99 to 02. I was just up in uh, back home in Indiana, talking to a bum buddy that uh, does a lot of scrapping, and uh, he was telling me a story about how he was getting ripped off from a guy, and apparently 99 to 02 Honda Accords have a catalytic converter on it. That brings in about, well, depending on the scrap prices at the time, but he said at that time it was $750. And, uh, I was like, bro, you gotta shoot me a picture of that thing. He had a picture of it there. Sure enough, he sent me that picture. I've got home. That's the first thing I looked at. I was like, man, I got a $750 catalytic converter I could scrap if I needed to. I don't need to, but it's cool to, uh, cool thing to know if you ever get in a bind. Check yours on this car. If it's stock, it's worth some money. On this particular car, the pad closest to the piston has this big uh, tang on it. So, that's how you know you got the inboard side all right we got the back pad in all right, we just throw the other one in and we'll be bolting the caliper back up But, all right, so now we can put this thing around. Put our rotor on, or our caliper on. All right, guys, my freaking mount ain't working. But, uh, anyways, run the car now, we'll fire it up. Uh, so we collapse that piston uh, we need to make sure like if you press the brakes right now they're going to go to the floor so before you even put it in gear start pumping them up it'll take probably 5 or 6 pumps to get your feel back in your brake pedal but keep your hand on this emergency brake just in case something crazy happens and your brakes don't work but uh, I'll go ahead and turn the e-brake off my pedal feels good, so I'm not too worried about it. So we'll just take it for a cruise and make sure they don't they're not squeaking anymore or any weird noises. Like if one of those clips is uh in wrong or something, it'll probably be grinding and you'll be able to tell. squeaking or anything so that's good kind of hear my belt chirping a little bit so I might need to give some attention to that I'll just go and kind of press on the brakes kind of hard just to make sure nothing's grinding in there or anything. Sounds pretty good. I'm 
happy with it. I know he'll be happy. It's not embarrassing in front of his friends uh, <laughs> rolling up to school with squeaky brakes. So that's good. Looks like that, uh, that did the trick. So. Build up some speed right before my driveway. Slam on the brake. Not slam on them, but get on them pretty good. Go too fast, your neighbors start calling the cops on you. Cool. I'm happy with it. Alright guys, that's how you replace the brake pads on a Honda Accord. As always, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, if you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and uh, we'll see you next time.